everyone welcome back to another video my name is javaya today we're going to talk about the caesar easy color dtv and how we can create our very own faux leather sheets using this media the caesar easy color dtv is also known as the caesar easy color direct to vinyl and it is an amazing product i have spoke about this product on my youtube channel before making a t-shirt I'll be using a smooth faux leather sheet and a seamless pattern printed onto the Caesar Easy Color DTV. Now, I have personally experienced this Caesar Easy Color DTV and adhered it to a variety of different surfaces. I've made paper projects, projects with wood, projects with fabrics. I even made magnets and stickers using the Caesar Easy Color DTV. And the good thing about this product is that number one, it is waterproof. And number two, you don't need any specialty inks or printers, just your standard inkjet printer for your everyday printing needs, okay? So we're going to be making our faux leather sheets. Then I'm going to use my Cricut machine to cut our custom faux leather sheets into shapes because we're going to be making a bow today. We're going to be creating this super cute bow using our very own custom faux leather sheets. So now let's get into the materials that we're going to be using for today's project. All right, y'all, so here are the supplies that we're going to be using for today's project. I have my faux leather here. I purchased a pack of multicolored faux leather online, and I'll be sure to leave the link down below in the description for you in case you are interested in purchasing the same set. Now, this faux leather has a very nice smooth surface on the front, and then when you flip it over to the back, it feels like felt, so the texture is a little rough on the back. Also, please keep in mind that depending on where you purchase your faux leather or the brand, the back color may be different. So that is something important to keep in mind. Depending on the type of faux leather that you purchase, the back of it may have a different color. Now, when you are working with the Caesar Easy Color DTV, you wanna make sure that when you adhere it to the faux leather, that you are placing it on the front smooth side of the faux leather. Then I also have this beautiful glitter faux leather that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. You can get these off of Amazon as well or any fabric store or any craft store that sells fabric. Here is my Caesar Easy Color DTV sheet. I have a bright white side on the front, and then when you flip it over to the back, it is like a gray, light gray minty color. You want to make sure that your printed designs and patterns are printed on the front side of the Caesar Easy Color DTV. That is very important, okay? You can definitely differentiate which side is which, which side is the front and which side is the back. I also have some silicone parchment paper, and I'll be using that to cover my Caesar Easy Color DTV as I am pressing it with my heat press onto the faux leather. I have my pair of scissors here. I have my metal barrettes. You can use whichever kind of clips that you would like to use. I'm using this kind today. You also want to make sure you have glue. Now for me, I am going to be using a combination of different glue because I am working with um, different kinds of faux leather. I have a glitter and then I have a smooth, thin faux leather, okay? So you want to make sure that you try out different types of adhesives or glues so that you can determine which glue is going to work best for you. I'm using this Beacon 3-in-1 glue. It is my favorite. It's my holy grail. I love it. I have this Loctite super glue as well. It's pretty good, but it takes forever to dry. Then I have my hot glue gun as well. I also have my heat gun from Recollections. It is Matt, oh, I had this forever. It's all worn out. But I'm going to be using this to help with the drying time because we're going to be making a project today, which we're going to be using our glue. <laughs> and I want to speed up the drying process. So I am going to be using this heat gun today. 
I am going to be making a bow. So I will be using my Cricut Maker Machine. So I do have my purple strong grip mat. And you are also going to need some sort of heating source. Today I will be using my heat press. However, you can use an easy press. You just want to make sure that you are applying enough pressure and using the proper heat. Okay? Now, let's get started. Here I have my printed patterns. I purchased these digital patterns from off of Etsy and they were two separate designs. I actually changed it up a little bit and then I split them to make them one pattern on the Caesar Easy Color DTV because I'm going to be using both styles for our bow. Now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to peel the Caesar Easy Color DTV away from its backing. Y'all, don't mind my nails. Do not come for my nails, okay? Your girl is over here struggling, trying to get that little piece of the edge. <laughs> so, I finally got it. So, now you want to peel the Caesar Easy Color DTV away from its backing carefully. You don't got to rush. You don't want to make any mistakes and rip this. Now you are going to place the printed design facing upwards on the smooth side of the faux leather like so. And that is all to it. So now we're going to head on over to our heat press and we are going to press this baby on up. Let go. All right, y'all. So here I am at the heat press. I have my heat press set at 280 degrees. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my temperature gun and you see how it's reading at 293 in the middle so that is the correct temperature so my heat press is about 9 10 degrees higher <laughs> than what is this plan okay so you want to make sure that you have your temperature below 300 because the faux leather will burn I'm going to take some Silicone parchment paper, place it on the bottom of my plan. Take my faux leather with my Easy Color DTV printed image. And a quick tip, when you put heat, like a little bit of heat, the Easy Color DTV will unravel itself and lay flatly onto its surface with a little bit of heat. So you can see here how it just unraveled and laid flat. That's what it does once it has a little bit of heat on it. Okay. So now that I have everything in place, I'm going to take two pieces of parchment paper just to be on the safe side. All right. And I'm going to press this medium pressure for 15 seconds. Okay. It is very hot. And that looks gorgeous. It is very hot, y'all. But let's see if I can lift it up to show you guys. You see, no lifting, no nothing. It looks really good. Very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another press just to ensure that everything is nice and bonded and adhered. All right. Beautiful. So I'm going to let this cool. And then we are going to get ready to cut out our pieces to make our bow. Once my faux leather has cooled, I went in with a pair of sharp scissors and trimmed off the edges just so I can have nice clean edges all around each corner. Now here I have my glitter faux leather and I have my printed custom faux leather here. 
what I have done with Cricut Design Space was all of the pieces that's going to be cut with the glitter faux leather is going to be cut out. And then all of the pieces that's going to be cut with the printed faux leather is also going to cut. Then when I'm done with these, I'm going to take the other part of the printed design that we created, the zebra part, and those pieces are going to be cut with that, okay? So now I have my material set to faux leather. I have the pressure set to more pressure and I turned on fast mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the camera so I can show you what I have done with the wheels. All of the wheels are adjusted to the right side of the Cricut machine because of the way that I place the faux leather onto the mat. The printed side and the glitter side is facing upwards and I didn't want any mishaps when I load and cut out our pieces so that's why I have the wheels set all the way to the right hand side. Now I'm going to go ahead and load in my mat. I'm going to click on the arrow that is blinking and then I am going to click on the C once it starts blinking for cutting. And then we're going to cut this bad boy out and let's see what it do. So here's our cut. And it did pretty good. Just this little piece right here. Now, if your faux leather didn't cut all the way through, um, I would not do what I just did just now. I would just leave everything in place and then press the uh, reload button to have it cut again. So right here, you can see that it didn't fully cut through all the way, but it scored it enough for me to take a pair of scissors and um, just cut off or trim off that area that is scored, that didn't cut all the way through fully. So again, if your leather does not cut all the way through, your faux leather does not cut all the way through, do not unload your mat. Reload it and let it cut again in the same area. All right, y'all. So now it's time to cut out the zebra pattern. And I just have this black faux leather here to cut out a different piece that I need. Okay. I'm going to just load this in and then let it cut. All right, y'all, so this is finished cutting and as you can see, it messed up in the Cricut machine. I guess it's not sticky right here. So oh, I need to get some new mats, y'all. Gotta get some new mats. I'll be using my mats till the wheels fall off. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is the same thing happened here. It didn't cut all the way through, but it scored enough for me to take a pair of scissors and cut, cut it out. Okay, and here is our little cutout piece. And here is our zebra piece. Now I am going to assemble my bow. I am taking my base pieces and I'm applying my Beacon 3-in-1 glue to adhere them together. Now the Beacon 3-in-1 glue dries clear and it dries really fast. It has a silicone base which I love. So if I were to bond pieces together or like incorrectly, I have the ability to adjust it and you know maneuver it around. So I went in to dry it with my heat gun for a little bit 
Then now I cut out two pieces of Barbie head clip arts out of the faux leather. I have the black and then I cut out uh, offset with the pink faux leather and I'm bonding the two together with that beacon 3-in-1 glue. Here is my piece where I'm going to be starting to create that bow shape. And this was cut of course with our beautiful printed Barbie pattern. And I'm using my heat gun to apply to secure the bow together in place like so. And that's what it's looking like. And as you can see on the actual printed pattern, the Barbie head is cut off. So I am trying to figure out where I want to place my Barbie head cut out onto that space on the bow. Here is the larger bow that I cut out out of that zebra, zebra pattern, adding a little bit of hot glue there and securing it down. And that's what we're looking like so far. Then there is my metal Barbie, um, my metal barrette, not Barbie, <laughs> metal barrette. I am applying a little bit of hot glue on the back and then I am securing it down to the base of the bow, just like so. And I'm adding a little bit more hot glue on the edges just to ensure that it stays in place. Then I am taking this strip of the faux leather glitter and I'm placing it in the inside of the metal barrette, applying a little bit of pressure and then curving it over and securing it in the inside of the metal barrette. Now since my fingers are a little too large to press down the faux leather, I am using um, a little stick just to ensure that it is nice and secured there. Then I'm taking my little Barbie clip art, little Barbie head, and I'm going to add some glue there to place it right in that middle area. And y'all, that is it. How cute is this? If you all enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Until next time, fam. Later.